Hello, everybody, and welcome on in. So, the new arena's on the PTR. Finally, we get to test it out. There's a bunch of combat changes with it, too. And I'll just say right away, I really like this new arena compared to the old one. The old one was very simple. Two pillars and a flat piece of ground. No height really to work with and not a ton of angles that you can use in that arena. It was a very basic design, but this one by far so much better. The big thing that I noticed about this arena is that you can actually line of sight ranged attacks much more effectively than you can in the other one. And just in general, I like this kind of environment for PvP better than something like OPR as well, because we have so much height to work with and so much cover from those ranged attacks that doesn't exist really in that game mode very much either. So I did feel like in this arena, full melee fighters actually had a much better chance than they do in a much more open environment, and that right of way is a good change. Now, one thing I did notice on the PTR is that you couldn't actually select which arena you wanted to go in. Right now on the public test realm, this is the arena that you play if you sign up for 3v3. So I'm not sure how it's going to look when we get this on the live server, whether you'll be able to select it or not, or it'll be random. We'll see what Amazon decides to do there. So I'm going to commentate a couple of these fights and we'll talk about the arena a little bit further. As you can see here, we're doing our best against the enemy team and uh, the height from the top to the other side there allowing us to get those range attacks in to finish that guy off. And I love how the height works both ways. If you're up top, you can get LOS from those range attacks. And if you're at the bottom, you can hug the walls to get some LOS. The placement of this pillar in the middle, I really like too. It's about one roll away from cover, which is a huge deal again for dealing with incoming ranged attacks. And here you see that beautiful line of sight using the height. And I'm able to mitigate a lot of damage there, but these guys do wait for me and surround me. And the greatsword player ends up getting me at the end. Now, I played about two and a half hours of arenas on the PTR, and uh, the weapon balance actually feels pretty decent. Bow still feels like it hits really hard when I'm fighting against it, um, but maybe not as hard as before. I don't know. Bow's one of those that just has really good cancel burst damage, so I think it's kind of tricky to find that perfect balance point for it. My bow players that are watching, I'd love to hear what you guys think about the bow changes and whether you think it's too much or in the right spot or maybe not enough. Either way, um, the height at the top, again, I really like that you have pillars to work with here, even when you're at the top, giving more line of sight against those ranged attacks. If you actually take a look at the arena all around, you see these pillars and these little bits that you can use to LOS ranged attacks. This is such a massive design improvement, I think, over what we've seen in the previous arena and OPR, especially OPR. The big downside in OPR is that you have these large open spaces with no cover anywhere close by and... Yeah, in this arena, man, that does not seem to be an issue. So I guess if anything, this just shows that Amazon does kind of understand what PvP needs in order to feel like a better, more balanced environment uh, just terrain-wise. So maybe when we see a new OPR map, we might get some similar sort of treatment. I know that I don't want to see a more open OPR map, that's for sure. And I get a great combo on that blunderbuss player as I drop down on top of him, blast him with the fire staff to finish him off. During my time playing on the PTR, I almost hardly ever used the range block to see how effective it would be. And I think that's kind of because this arena in particular just benefits line of sight so much more than trying to hold a position and block those attacks. But in a more open field situation, I do think that that range block will make a nice difference. And the last enemy player just going down to uh, the combined combo from me and the friendly bow player. Uh, that bow player has taken a lot of kills on this map. He's playing really well. Now, I've got one more arena match, actually just the last part of the match, and there's a couple of things that this match highlighted that I wanted to talk about. The first big one is healers in arena. They are still going to be meta. If your opponent's team has a healer and you don't, I mean, you can win that fight, but they have a huge advantage. That is for sure. And uh, that's just because the amount of healing power that a healer spits out is crazy. They're doing as much healing as some higher-end DPS are going to be doing damage-wise, so it's, it's very hard I think to compete if your opponent's group has a healer, especially a pre-made. And that's something that I would love to see Amazon maybe address and create a separate queue for pre-mates and a separate queue for solo. Um, but either way, the healer definitely drags out the fight. And in this particular fight here, what ends up happening is we get to the end stage where you see the fire come in. And that was one of the concerns I had with this arena is when the fire comes in, are you going to be kind of locked out from getting to the top if you don't get up the stairs into that central area fast enough? Well, we'll see in just a moment for you guys. 
but uh, yeah, you can see my team is kind of struggling to put the damage in here. These guys on my team, they were doing really well too, but the aggressive heals, man, is just very hard to do anything kind of threatening to them. And as soon as I get any decent combo in, they just heal it away right away. Big explosion there, and uh, yeah, unable to capitalize again. So I retreat up the staircase to try to break a little bit more distance, and that terrain right away, LOSing those ranged attacks. Yeah, this is the kind of environment I think we want to see a little bit more of in PvP for sure. The enemy player's going hard on my friendly, and uh, I get a good combo through, but this guy manages to get to the heal in time, so it's not enough to finish him off. And then I do eat his ultimate, it sends me flying a little bit, and uh, I retreat into the room here, and this was one of my experiences with the fire. So I had experienced the fire before this, but I didn't realize how much damage it did until this fight right here. Me and this guy are trading in the uh, room here, and you can just see it chunking our health away right away. I tried to break a bit of distance, go through him, and we're both very low health here, so yeah, kind of a dangerous situation. And the spear player clips me and he gets the kill and you can see in this clip here the fire was actually heading towards the middle and in this next clip you can see that the fire does converge on the middle and it locks you off from using the staircase so this is in my opinion maybe a bit of a design flaw because now if you're stuck at the bottom and your opponent is up top they're going to win that match just because they have the high ground. Or maybe that's what Amazon intended was for the high ground to be this kind of big game changer in the course of the arena. Either way, I would love to hear what you guys think. I would love to hear what your experiences are with this PTR, the new arena, and of course those new combat changes. If you guys enjoyed this, hit that like button. Catch me live on Twitch. There's a link down below. And you can check out my website, PvP New World, for written guides to this build I was playing and so many more. If you have an awesome fight that you want to send into the New World Top 5, you can send that to Christopher at pvpnewworld.com. Best of luck to you guys. And of course, this show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. They can help keep you safe on the internet, and you can get a deal with your first purchase with the link down below. And last but not least, a massive thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon for supporting the show. Whether you supported in the past, whether you're supporting now, thank you so much, everybody, just for helping out. But yeah, Arena is pretty cool. I don't really like Arena that much, but the terrain in here really made me enjoy playing it. So big win on this one, I think, for Amazon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night, everybody, and I hope to see you next time.